What up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly truly grateful and if you're new to this channel do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together so guys in today's video as you can see i joined a bunch of guys to ride around the sunjan district of shanghai it's holiday time here in china and it was a bright sunny day and these guys were going out for a ride so i decided to join them and along the way i took a footage of the video um, of the scenery and the riding experience and that's why i'm bringing to you this in this video so sit back relax and enjoy So we hit the road right around noon on Monday afternoon and as some of you may already know uh, it's holiday time here in China um, it's a celebration of the independence uh, it usually falls on October the 1st and there's usually a seven day national holiday so the traffic is unusually quiet uh, for a Monday uh, afternoon uh, but that's also means it presents a good presents a good opportunity for riding so we set off at around noon for our destination we're riding to this lakeside and as you can see there was less traffic on the road so it was much more enjoyable than it would have been on a busy monday afternoon So on this ride we had a number of bikes, we had three different Benelli 600cc bikes, uh, that's the TNT, and we had a Kawasaki, I don't remember exactly what model it was, but I think it was a 636cc model, a uh, sport bike, and then we had a KTM 390 Duke, and he was the lead rider because he knew where we were going, and we had a Ducati Monster and then my 2019 Honda CB500X and I must say that I was impressed with the performance of the CB500X because it was able to um, compete with the bigger CCs, the 600 CCs and all and, and, and the Kawasaki and even the KTM which is a pretty fast bike but yeah the Honda CB500X held its own and you would see in this video that for some time sometimes I was behind because I wanted to get footage of the other riders but when I wasn't um, taking videos of the riders I would sometimes be the lead rider 
Um, so yeah, the, Bene the Honda CB500X held its own amongst the biggest CCs. So about 15 minutes into the ride we pulled over at this gas station so some of the guys could refill their tanks and it was an opportunity for us to get off the bikes and stretch our legs and have a little chit chat before we went on our journey and it's always a good thing to have a few minutes of rest so you can uh, get the blood flowing through your, your legs and, and just grab some liquids before you continue your journey. That bike is fast, man. <laughs> KTM is insane. Oh, it's a it's a I, uh, with the ECU and the back. Oh, okay. Made it a lot faster, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It came together and KTM sold it. So they sold that pipe yeah. and then with an ECU change and it just lit the bike up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 390, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's insane, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know the clutch? Huh? Why don't you see the oil? It's under. It's underneath it? Yeah, it's under. Yeah, it's under. Yeah, it's under. The, the belly pen is under. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the fastest. This is ridiculous. Six for six. Holy shit. Ninja or what? Gas consumption. So, so, so Who cares about the gas consumption, man? Go put some gas. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because you stop, I go and I see the bottom of the. And this bike here. Yeah, no. Man. Z6? Four cylinder. Yeah, 636. Inline four. This bike has like 120 horsepower. <laughs> But you're it doesn't matter what, what kind of bike <laughs> 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 you got. You're faster. 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 you and it's, it's got, and it's got this for cooling. Is it? Yeah. This yeah. is the fastest bike right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just told her. He said, he said, just said that. Yeah, yeah. Four cylinder, 636, 120 horsepower. Is it 120? 120 yeah. men well, tall. 40. Men tall. What do you mean he didn't know what? 120. <laughs> After about 15 minutes of rest, it was time to continue our journey. Austin racing exhaust uh, used by the Benelli 600 rider right in front of me in this shot is pretty amazing. It sounded amazing throughout the trip.
being a mini adventure bike at some points of the trip I could stand on the pegs just to get a little more air uh, flow around me because I've got the pretty tall windshield which does a pretty good job by the way but when it's a hot day like this you need some fresh air sometimes and also um, to rest my my backside because when you ride in jeans because it's really hot you can't wear the riding uh, pants so jeans is your best friend and uh, over time the seams on the back side of your pants dig into your butt and you feel the pain so it was a good uh, way to, to relax the other riders couldn't do that but being on a mini adventure bike I could do that and still be comfortable I had recently changed the original Dunlop tires that came on the CB500X with some Michelin Anarchy Adventure tires. I was super confident it was especially as it was a hot day and I've had it for two weeks and the tires are already broken in so I was super confident in the bends and on, on, the, on, the, on the road in general so uh, that also made my ride a bit more enjoyable because I felt more confident than on the old Dunlop tires. After a while of riding, we made a stopover at this village and found a small shop to get some refreshments before we went on our journey.
this is me in your shot paying for my soft drink electronically so all you do is scan a QR code and then you can pay electronically you don't really need your wallet or you don't need cash in China anymore So at this point we're just arriving at our destination and some of the guys were still behind but we all arrived safely and we're ready to get off the bikes and take a rest and have a good chat. So the lakeside was peaceful and uh, we sat there for a while and had a good chat about bikes and other topics in general. It was such an amazing afternoon spent together with the other guys. guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it's been really nice riding out with these guys um, on occasions like this you get to test how good your bike will do amongst other bikes and I must say I'm really impressed with their CB500X so thank you so much for watching guys 